Welcome to Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Today we present to you an article titled, Why Salima? Let us begin with a prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Born in El Salvador in 1954, but living in Quebec, Canada, Salima Gomez has been receiving messages attributed by her to Jesus and the Virgin Mary for many years, which came to wider attention with the publication of three volumes of locutions received between 2010 and 2013, entitled, I Have Come to Prepare You for This Event, The Illumination of Conscience. The title is a reference to the coming mini-judgment, also known as the warning, prophesied by a considerable number of mystics over several decades, foretelling a unique occurrence in the history of humanity when all people on earth, with the exception of small children, will see their spiritual state as God sees it. One remarkable feature of Sulima's often lengthy locutions is that she delivers them orally in fluent literary French, a language with outside of the escastes in which the messages are received. She can only speak to a rudimentary level. After the publication of the third of these volumes, Sulima has continued to receive messages that are recorded by her husband, Sabino, a former atheist who converted after a mystical experience in Majigori, but kept private since 2021. Some locutions have nonetheless been made public on the internet by a specialist Swiss francophone magazine, Stella Maris, and by Marcel and Christian Laflamme in Quebec. The Catholic Church has so far made no formal pronouncement on Sulima's messages, although she has been accompanied by priests who have prefaced her writings. Readers of contemporary private revelations will find many confirmations of material from other sources, with the overall eschatology being absolutely in line with the prophetic's consensus of the most serious modern prophetic voices. Welcome to Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Today we present to you an article titled, Sulima Gomez, I See So Much Suffering. Let us begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. This message is from Mary, Queen of Peace, to Salima Gomez on October 26, 2023. Now is the time to turn to the Lord for mercy and to alleviate the consequences of war. If you pray with all your heart, and offer sacrifices, the time will be shortened. Take my word seriously and pray for peace in the world. Pray, pray, pray. Pray day and night to thwart the forces of evil. Do not be discouraged on seeing all the evil around you. Be strong, courageous, and go forward. The holy angels and all the saints are accompanying you in these hours of tribulation you are not alone. The Lord watches over those who fear Him. I have left you the most powerful weapon to defend yourself, the Holy Rosary. Pray it with all your heart and you will be protected in this time of great suffering and for all humanity. Receive my special blessing in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. My immaculate heart is torn when I see so much suffering, when I see how far cruelty has gone in the hearts of men. Love no longer exists among the peoples of the earth. There is more desolation day by day. Families are divided, destroyed by the suffering of death and hunger. They have to abandon everything in order to try to survive. My maternal heart bleeds again, on seeing that a large number of my children 
have not believed, worse still, no longer believes in our words, to our warnings. How many times have I asked you to pray for peace in the world and families? The Lord will be with all his children who say yes to him from the bottom of their hearts. With those who have believed in him, who have chosen to follow him by respecting his word, his commandments, with those who have chosen him out of love. Dear children, take courage. Be at peace because the Holy Spirit comes to enlighten your steps. Rejoice for the Lord is coming to meet each of his children on earth. The hour of his coming is very near. You all will see it. Some with joy and love, others with great astonishment, still others with fear and anguish, and finally others with great indifference. My immaculate heart bleeds again on seeing this indifference, this lukewarmness, because man has closed his heart to the Lord. You are about to experience very great events, and yet you act as if nothing is going to happen. You do not want to believe that time, as you currently experience it, is coming to an end. You will experience these in tears because all the suffering that will be around you, because the facts will speak for themselves. But then it will be too late to go back. You will experience the consequences of your choices, because it will have been your sins that started everything. Be faithful in prayer, in adoration, in receiving the sacrament of forgiveness, reconciliation, in order to receive peace, strength, and discernment, so as not to succumb to temptation. I have left you the most powerful weapon there is to protect you, the Holy Rosary. Look around you and see how everything is being fulfilled. You have just begun a new stage of the end times. This autumn will be very special not to mention winter, you will see that how events will speak for themselves. Prepare yourselves, therefore, to experience everything that is being announced to you. I say to you again, pray to the Lord with all your heart. Pray to the Holy Mother, offering her the mysteries of the Holy Rosary. Ask St. Michael to come with his heavenly court to protect and guide you in the time of tribulation. You will understand the gravity of this moment as you look at all that is going to happen in the world. Wake up, pray, adore, and remain in the state of grace. Pray for the thousands of children who will perish in the days to come, especially those children who have not taken the time to prepare to meet me. Pray for all the victims of human violence, but also of war. I will be with all my faithful children those who have truly chosen me. I know those who are with me and all those who are against me. Never forget this. Ask the Holy Spirit for the grace of perseverance to see this battle through to the end and also for the discernment necessary in this time when lies and confusion reigns. Where there are so many wolves in sheep's clothing, remain at peace and pray at all times. Thank you for watching our channel. Please check out our 24-7 live Lent prayer room. Please see the video descriptions for our books and social media. May God bless and keep you and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen. Welcome to Mother in Refuge of the End Times. We are thrilled to be releasing our latest prayer book titled The Most Holy Rosary, Prayers and Mystical Meditations of Saints and Seers. The Most Holy Rosary is one of the greatest prayers in the history of the Church. Garnished as it is with the testimony of saints and popes for the last thousand years, the only prayers that could be said to be greater are those of the Mass in the divine office, yet many still seek ways to enter into the deeper mansions of spiritual richness to be found in this devotion.
To assist with this process, Mother and Refuge of the End Times has compiled revelations and meditations from some of the most notable and popular Catholic mystics and saints. These mystics were gifted with first-hand revelations by means of visions and apparitions of the life of our Lord Jesus and His Holy Mother. We have selected some writings from these remarkable revelations to assist in the meditation of each of the 20 mysteries of the Holy Rosary. The main mystic meditations featured are St. Padre Pio, Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, Servant of God, Don Delindo Rotolo, Servant of God Luisa Picaretta, Maria Valtorta, and others. In addition, this unique rosary prayer book contains both the Latin and English prayers of the rosary. It has been originally illustrated by our own Catholic religious illustrator with over 23 inspiring illustrations that will surely lift your hearts in prayer and in fervor. This is a rosary prayer book that will surely be a classic. As always, we thank you all for your continued support of our prayer book ministry and our channel. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen.